Hey everyone and welcome in the Formula One Baku debrief with five key points. Mamma mia! To finish first, first you need to finish. Ferrari, have they already lost the title? I don't know, but they've got a fast car. After two seasons, a little bit complicated, they've got a very fast car and the reliability issue were more on the Red Bull side early in the year. But as three races in a row, well, Leclerc should have, Charles Leclerc should have won and it did not. That's, uh, that's a, a tough one for Ferrari. As Red Bull capitalized first and second, they were very much in control of the race once Ferrari was out there. No much fun from Perez or when he was asked not to fight Verstappen to uh, let him buy you know the first and second in championship Red Bull's got scored a lot of points in the, in the constructor championship and as I said Charles Leclerc over the last three races really not what he uh, wanted so as to bounce back I think they're gonna be fast again in Canada but definitely those reliability issue have to be sorted you could even see see on the Alfa Romeo on the Haas they had uh, they had also issues so something there that needs to be uh, addressed it's always hard to you know, push the performance, but uh, keep the reliability going. So uh, that's definitely a hard one for Leclerc to digest and for Ferrari. Uh, Russell, Mr. Consistency. Russell always in the top five, third podium for him. Quad race, no much going on in front of him, no much going on behind him. Good qualifying, good pace in the race, but just in the middle of kind of nowhere. It looked easy from the outside, it's never easy. The Mercedes is definitely a, a, a tough car to drive and, and with so much purposing, bouncing that were going on with uh, with Lewis Hamilton. So um, that was a very good race from, from Russell, very good race from Hamilton, getting P4. That is very, very strong from Mercedes, knowing that they don't have a a super fast car yet porpoising or bouncing i mean every formula one drivers have back issue have had back issue for the last few years just because you sit in a carbon seat which uh is put on on a carbon chassis and you want to run the chassis as low as you can so it's bouncing and hitting the ground quite a bit and when it hits the ground all those vibration and the heat goes straight into your, your spinal it's not definitely driving from one car is not ideal for for the back but with that porpoising look really bad obviously some team know that are struggling a little bit more with it than others are gonna try to talk more about it in hope that maybe the FIA Formula 1 would change the rules or do something. You can already see Red Bull going in the media saying well you know they can run the car higher if they want to we don't want any rules because we control the purposing we don't have the issue so it's gonna be kind of a political uh, fight that we see very often in, in, in Formula 1. In the past it was pretty much always against Mercedes. The front and rear connected suspension was banned because everyone thought Mercedes had a, an advantage on that. Wasn't really the case. The engine mode in the race uh, was uh, was banned because everything Mercedes uh, had an advantage, but wasn't really the case. So, you know, it's always always the case. And uh, obviously Red Bull and Ferrari control the proposing better than, than Mercedes. And that's why we hear Mercedes quite uh, quite vocal about it. But also they keep working, you know, they keep working on their hand. And as I say, we not the fastest car they're up there. Uh, third and fourth in the race, uh, pretty pretty impressive so uh, good job to them we want the driver to be healthy that's for sure we don't want to see that that bouncing going on so uh, it's a hard one to um, to decide what to do on Pierre Gasly really good weekend Pierre Gasly qualified sixth finished fifth he was even running fourth when his engineer told him not to fight Hamilton because there were key points for the championship uh, Alfa Torre if we look at 2021 versus 2022 they've scored much less points uh, the car has been a little bit less good this year but Gasly has been doing a very good race in Baku he's always been strong in Baku and Tsunoda was good Yuki Tsunoda was very good until he's, he's had his DRS issue that's, uh, that's sad for him so only one side of the rear wing would open he add the black and orange flag means meaning you've got a technical issue and you need to box to to sort that out they went with uh, with tape to sort it out was it necessary to give him black and white fl uh, orange flag i don't know because you know at this point he kind of knew that he wasn't going to use his drs anymore because because he knew he had the problem and, and the wing seems to be closed but on the other hand if the wings open when you don't expect it in very high speed corner it's uh, it's a big crash so just felt it was very hard for him because he was doing good race he was he was going to finish sixth that was uh, some other good points for Alfa Torre but um, they had yeah, that issue we have to know that Alfa Torre and Red Bull are, are like sister team Red Bull had some some warning with the DRS in practice so definitely some somewhere to look at for Alfa Torre and Red Bull to make sure that they uh, they don't have those issues and they don't lose a very important point with that Baku's always been a super exciting race but this year it was quite boring 
The new rules are great for the Formula One. They can follow each other much better, but the race, almost no yellow flag, almost no safety car, nothing. You know, we, we used to see, we used to see Baku as a crazy race and this year just, it just wasn't. So honestly, it wasn't the most exciting Grand Prix to watch. This year they've been pretty good. I've been enjoying watching the races. This one just felt like, you know, not much was happening. Red Bull clearly decided Verstappen is number one and Perez number two. So they asked not to fight. That could have been a nice fight on track for the win. Did not happen. So yeah, a bit, uh, bit disappointing that Grand Prix in that aspect. I think, uh, you know, some years are like that. Maybe next year is going to be a crazy one, but definitely uh, Baku wasn't wasn't a perfect one. And now we jump straight on to Montreal, Canada. I'm going to be there on site, so uh, it's going to be good to get some insight for the videos, for the futures. One of my favorite Grand Prix. Love the city of Montreal, Montreal in English. Love going there. Exciting track, not easy. A lot can happen. I think Ferrari is going to be strong. Red Bull is going to be strong. It's going to be uh, it's going to be very interesting to see if Ferrari can uh, get some points back because they do need some points back. They do need both drivers to be at the front and, and take away points from Red Bull, that's for sure. So yes, I'll see you next week. In the meantime, make sure you, you like, subscribe, give me a comment and um, I'll see you very soon.